Blog Talk Radio. Stevie B's Media Production is a part of the Shellcaster Network. Stevie B Media Production presents Acapella Gospel Music Blast with your host, Stevie B. Playing your favorite acapella music from the world's greatest acapella artist. Sit back, relax, and listen to the sweet sound of voices. We're flying at 30,000 feet, and you're riding with Stevie B. You can call into the live show, 713-955-0508, or email us, butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com. Contact us. Let us know who's riding with Stevie B on the blast tonight. This is the Acapella Gospel Music Blast, and you're listening to Stevie B. This radio show is the 2022 recipient for the NACAMA, the National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Artists Award for Outstanding Achievement in Record or radio. This radio show is being broadcast from Stevie B Media Production at the Carolina Studio in the great state of North Carolina. This is Stevie B. And I'm the blaster master of acapella gospel music. And according to the late wife Vaughn, the General Connor from Dayton, Ohio, she says Stevie B is the hardest working Christian DJ. In the world today, may the good Lord have mercy on us all. That was my dear sister right there. I also have a quote from an interview I did with East Age, Jesse Marat from Straight Company from Louisville, Kentucky. He was on the show as the producer for the acapella group Divine Experience with one of the lead vocalists, Brandon P.K. Smith from Tampa, Florida. He was also on that broadcast. And East Age said, I really appreciate this quote from East Age. He said, my radio voice, <laughs> my energy, my create." Activity is refreshing and nobody does it better because nobody's going to outwork me. I have a quote from Brian Malone from Committed Acapella Chorus from Rogersville, Alabama. He said, Stevie B is the hardest working man on the radio. I have a quote from an uh, interview I did with Thurman Metters out of Temple, Texas. He said, Stevie B is the hardest working man in acapella Christian Music. I have a quote from the late Irvin C. Jackson. We really do miss Irvin C. Jackson from Wesley Chapel, Florida. He said, Stevie B is the greatest and the hardest working man. He said, I consider you to be the lighthouse of acapella gospel music. Certainly appreciate that quote from the late Irvin C. Jackson. I have a quote from Mr. Uwe himself, Dorian Paul from Houston, Texas. He said, Stevie B, he said, we need you. We need you, Doc. Don't you go nowhere because we need you. I have a quote from my dear brother, Jeremy Roberts from Iet, Virginia. He said, Stevie B is the hardest working man on the radio, period. That's what he said, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just telling you what they say. <laughs> I have a quote from my dear brother Anthony Blood. He's the radio host for the Gospel Train that airs on Facebook Live on Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m. and also on uh, the radio 94.7 FM, WWBC 1510 in Rockness, Florida. That's where the Gospel Train airs as well. And he also said the same thing during our interview on his radio show. So it must be some truth to it. I have a quote from Kenneth Ray from Made New Acapella Ensemble out of Louisville, Kentucky. He said, Steve B is the hardest working brother in acapella music on the ones and twos. I have a quote from comedian Tim Pryden from right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He said, Steve B is the greatest. He says, Stevie B, let me get this right now. He says, there are many great Stevies in the world, like Stevie Wonder that made nothing but classic in the music game. But you also need to know about my guy that's killing the radio game. 
my guy, Stevie B. That was from comedian Tim Pratchett. I have a quote from Callie J.T., uh, John Emerson from Los Angeles, California. He's with the acapella group Exodus 2.0. He said, Stevie B puts the A in acapella music. Stevie B is awesome. Stevie B is amazing. Now, I have a quote from the founder of uh, the Nakama Awards, Al Pratt. Now, I'm going to do this quote in Al Pratt's voice. <laughs> Al Pratt. Now, this is Al Pratt, ladies and gentlemen. He said, Stevie B, the acapella DJ, often imitated but never duplicated. Not only is he the hardest working, I'm telling you he's the smartest working DJ in acapella music. That's Stevie B. Now, that was an Al Pratt's voice. <laughs> I have a quote from my dear brother Ali Ezel from right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. He says, Stevie B is the mouth of acapella gospel music. I like that. I got one more quote, ladies and gentlemen. I got one more quote, and this quote is from Hammond Berg. He was on the broadcast a few weeks ago. He is the creator of the Shellcaster Network from Plano, Texas. He says, Stevie B is the ambassador of the world of acapella. I like that. Stevie B's acapella gospel music flash. All right, let me get this big iron bird on up off the ground. I rubbed my two little coins together and bought me an airplane. can't be the blaster master if you're not dropping any bombs on your radio show. I said boom boom. Stevie B's acapella gospel music flash. Ladies and gentlemen, we are taking back Friday nights for the Lord. Oh yes, we are. For the next two hours, I want to play some of your favorite acapella gospel songs from such artists as Straight Company, Durian Paul, Commit Acapella Chorus, and many, many more and believe me when i say many many more i want to hear from our listeners tonight you can give me a call to the live show at 713-955-0508 or you can go to the blog talk radio website and listen to the show live there i just checked the website before i came on the air and there are over 1800 live shows on that blog talk radio website at this hour and ladies and gentlemen you will consistently find this radio show on that website, there are 20 shows per page, 1,800 shows, 20 shows per page, and you will consistently find this radio show on pages one through four of that website. I just looked at the website before I came on the air, and I'm on page four. You can't miss me because my picture is the biggest one on the website. All right? So you won't miss me tonight. <laughs> So join us here on the blast tonight. You can also send your emails to my new email address and just let me know who's riding with me on the blast tonight at butlersteve1009 at yahoo.com and let me know who's riding with me on the blast. I'll give you a shout out on the show tonight as well. At the bottom of the hour, I'll be featuring my song of the week. I want to feature a song and tell you a little bit about the artist. And this song will get two plays on the show tonight. And we also want to dedicate this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late Linda Deli. From Tulsa, Oklahoma, we want to keep her memory alive on this radio show. And we also have a feature on the broadcast, My Funny Bones. You know I love those comedians because laughter is good for the soul. We'll be featuring two comedians on the show tonight. And also during the broadcast, we'll be featuring my shout-outs. Now, these are just some people I've been in contact with, whether it be here on social media or people I've been meeting in my local area here right outside of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, who are listening to this radio show. And they just love acapella gospel music. I've actually been meeting people who never even heard acapella gospel music, so it's just a thrill for me just to be able to introduce them. There's great music that we get to enjoy here on The Blast on a Friday night. So I just want to show them some love for supporting 
this broadcast. And I also have a feature on the broadcast, my monthly triple spin. And for the month of March, we'll be featuring Exodus 2.0 out of Los Angeles, California. And also, um, Cali JT will be on the broadcast next Friday night because they're debuting their new album uh, on that show as well. And I also have a feature on the broadcast called my old 100s. And I'll be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late wife, Von the General Connor from Dayton, Ohio. She says, Stevie B, you got to play something for the old folk. <laughs> and of course she was right. So I consider what she said. So I just came up with that feature and I called it my old 100. And we just uh, really do miss uh, wife Von Connor. She was with me from the beginning. And we certainly miss her. So you got Stevie B, the Blaster Master, loose in the booth on the ones and twos. So let's get into the music, the sweet sounds of voices. Stevie B's acapella gospel music blast. Ladies and gentlemen, as I go through my playlist tonight, I'll be announcing the previous interviews we've had with the various acapella artists and producers and our writers. And we had a few comedians on the show as well that we interviewed on the show. So I'll just be telling you where they're, uh, what the number of those episodes were. And we could also go to uh, wherever you're getting your favorite podcast from. Just search for Stevie B Media Productions, uh, Spotify, Apple, iTunes, Amazon Music, YouTube, just to name a few. And you'll be able to find these previous shows. And also, I have recorded version shows that I did. These were live shows here that I did on Blog Talk Radio. But I took my voice out of the show, this wonderful voice. I took it out of the show, and I just played the music straight through. And those recorded versions were done in beta hi-fi, so the sound quality is excellent. So you're going to love what you're hearing from my recorded version shows. So just search for uh, Stevie B recorded version on iHeart Radio, Deezer, and Amazon Music. Those are the only uh, platforms where you can find those recorded version shows. All right? Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. I have some upcoming events I want to make you aware of. On tonight's show now, my special guest is uh, Alvin Moore. He's with the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus out of the North Mississippi area. Looking forward to talking to Alvin on the broadcast tonight. And he will come on after my song, of the week. So that'll be around about the bottom of the hour. And on March the 10th, that'll be next Friday night. My special guest will be one accord, Omar McCall, and also Cali JT from Los Angeles, California will be debuting uh, Exodus 2.0's new album on this broadcast as well. And then on March 17th, my Oh, that'll be my top 20 countdown show. I had Ladies of God, Anissa Cooper, and Silver Rollins from Memphis, Tennessee scheduled for that show, but that'll be rescheduled because that's when I do my top 20 countdown show. And then on March the 24th, my special guest is Brothers in Christ, BIC, from North Central Florida, Michael Dockery. Now, this group was the recipient for the 2022 Nakama Traditional Artist of the Year. So looking forward to having Michael on the broadcast. And also my man, George G from West Palm Beach, Florida. He's going to be on that show as well. You know, George G, he comes on the show every fourth Friday of the month. You know, George G is sitting on a ton of music, ladies and gentlemen. So we always love to have George G on the broadcast. Now on March the 25th, now there's going to be three concerts that are going on on March the 25th. There'll be one in uh, the Belford Church of Christ there in Houston, Texas, the Belford Avenue Church of Christ in Houston, Texas. And that's going to be a gospel reunion concert uh, featuring the Soul Influence. And they're going to have the Lemon Five there, the Melody Airs, uh, Tabernacle, Vision, and Harmony, just to name a few. And also uh, there will be a concert at the King's Church of Christ there in Brooklyn, New York. And they're going to have the Blended Praise Trinity, the Eastern Airs, the Excited Enchanters, and Tribute Ensemble will also be there at that particular concert and then there will be one in uh texas and clement church of christ there in odessa texas and the sanctified harmony would be one of the primary groups there was the sister two sisters reunion and soldiers of power will be featured on though that particular concert all right so that's what's going on in the acapella community stevie b's acapella gospel music 
So who's on the playlist tonight? I have some new singles from Kenya Shelley from Fresno, California. Straight Company from Los Angeles. I mean, from uh, from Louisville, Kentucky. And the Gospel Blend from Chi-Town, Chicago. My man Shano from Hollywood, Florida has a new single. Tiffany Bumpers from Rochester, New York. She just dropped her new single. Exodus 2.0. They seem to always be coming out with some new music here lately. Lisa Cooper from Memphis, Tennessee as well. We're going to have a great show tonight. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Enjoy the ride, ladies and gentlemen, on the blast tonight. Stevie B is on the air. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. You are in the mix with Stevie B, the blast and master of acapella gospel music. Kicking off the show, I have a double play, Tiffany Bompers from Rochester, New York. She has a new single entitled You Said, and this single was uh, written by uh, Ron Walker from Atlanta, Georgia. He's the producer as well. He was on the show. We had Tiffany and Ron on the show as they debuted that single on the broadcast. That's episode 288, so make sure you check out that show. That'll be followed by Kenya Shelley from Fresno, California. She has a new single just let go. You're going to love this song. Enjoy this double play, Tiffany Bompers and Kenya Shelley. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. I'll be here all night. Shoot through thick and then I know that you love me. Shoot through thick and then I know that you love me. Shoot through thick and then I know that you love me. Shoot through thick and then I know that you love me. Shoot you gave me. The reason to believe in me You set me free from all of my enemies I know you got my faith within your very hand I long to see my Jesus in the promised land Your precious touch, your humbleness, your healing hand It soothes the pain of every woman, every man And I thank you, Lord, I thank you Oh, what the blessed joy to hear you say.
need you. Thinking you should find, he can feed you. Fighting all these demons, he the only one that's gonna believe you. Yeah, I really wanna let go. Should've rolled with you from the get go. I need help trying to let him know. I need help trying to get my flow. Screw face, got two faces. So my soul split in two places. Fighting each other like two races. Got enough sin for two graces. God tell me what I don't know. Either don't care or they don't show. Thank God me in the chokehold. So I probably need to let go. Matthew Miles, he serves with the Central Point Church of Christ there in Bloomington, Illinois, and he wants to make sure I make my listeners aware that they have a program a concert that's coming up on June the 3rd and the 4th. So make sure if you're in the area, check out the Central Point Church of Christ there with Evangelist Minister Matthew, Evangelist Matthew Miles. So Matthew Miles, Stevie B wants to give you a shout out and thank you for riding with us on the blast tonight. This is Orlando Tisdale, a.k.a. Mookie, and you are listening to me on Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is your girl, Tony Washington, from Journey Acapella, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. On the show tonight, after my song of the week, my special guest is the North Mississippi Acapella chorus, Alfred Moore, from North Mississippi area. Also, I have a double play coming your way, the gospel bland out of Chi-Town, Chicago, Illinois. They have a new single, Can't Do Me No Harm. You're going to love this song, the 2022 album, Show Me The Way. And we debut that album on this broadcast, episode 291, with the lead vocalist, Stephen Thompson. And he was with his manager there, George G., my man from West Palm Beach, 
Florida. Now to be followed by Lindell Newsom from Athens, Alabama. His single is All About God. This is the title track from the album is All About God. You're going to love this song. Enjoy this double play, the gospel blend, and Lindell Newsom. You got Stevie B on the one cent two. Jesus got his arms up, right around me as the world. Jesus got his arms up, right around me as the world. Jesus got his arms up, right around me as the world. Thank you, Lord God.
Shout out to Curtis Wims. So he's down there in Miami, Florida. He was on the broadcast a few months ago. He debuted his new album on the broadcast. Curtis Wims on Stevie B wants to give you a shout out. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, what up, guys? This is Melody Bailey, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hi, this is Jeremy Roberts, singer of No Mistakes and Album I Forgive You, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone. And you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. (laughs) Coming up next, I got a single play from my man Orlando Mookie Tisdale from Huntsville, Alabama. You're going to love this song entitled Leave Me. And we did an exclusive interview with Orlando here on this broadcast, episode 124. That brother poured out his soul on this show. That was a great interview. And also, I did a recorded version of that live show here on Blog Talk Radio. That's episode number 30. Enjoy the single play by my man, Orlando Mookie Tisdale. You got Stevie B on the one cent is I took my mind, I took my mind out, of the world. out of the world. I had to let go of wrong and do right. Yeah, I had yeah. to find a way to free my soul. And when I let go, yes, my Jesus let me on. My mind became good. My mind became good. I, changed my life. I changed my life. I started to walk right. I started to talk right. My friends, they asked me, what's going on? I said, I let go of sin and let Jesus lead me on. Sin's not for you. Trust me, I know. It'll have you torn apart. Trust me, I know. Get on your knees and 
pray, Lord, please. Lord, lead me, lead me, Lord, won't you lead me? Lead me, lead me, Lord, won't you lead me? Lead me, lead me, Lord. I follow the world, Lord. Lead me, lead me, Lord. Let me roam. Lead me, lead me, Lord. Had me living in sin, lead me, lead me, Lord. Far too long, lead me, lead me, Lord. Lord, won't you lead me? Lead me, lead me, Lord. Lord, won't you lead me? Lead me, lead me, Lord. I'm down on my knees, lead me, lead me, begging you, please, because my soul's free. From a world of sin I'm so glad I'm so glad my Jesus, my Jesus. I'm so glad my Jesus. my Jesus My Jesus he led me off Jesus. But I had to walk like I had to talk like I had to love like I had to pray like There's nobody like There's nobody like I had to let go and let my Jesus lead me on Says not for you Just me I know It'll have you torn apart Just me I know Get on your knees and pray, Lord, please, 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 please lead me. Lord, won't you lead me? Lord, won't you lead me? Lord, won't you lead me? I've been wandering around too long. Lord, won't you lead me? Lord, won't you lead me? Lord, won't you lead me? Oh, I need you. I'm Kenya Shelley from Fresno, California, and I'm listening to Stevie B's Acapella Music Blast. Hey, this is Dwayne Pugh from Dallas, Texas, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Pooh Malone. And you're listening to the acapella gospel music blast with Stevie B. Ladies and gentlemen, on the show tonight, after my song of the week, my special guest is North Mississippi acapella chorus Alvin Moore from the North Mississippi area. Stevie B's song of the week. We'll be dedicating this feature to my dear sister and friend, the late Linda Dilly from Tulsa, Oklahoma. She was a member of my staff here at Stevie B's Media Production from the year 2016 to June of 2021. She wrote all the questions for the artists that we interviewed on this radio show, and we just want to keep her memory alive on this radio broadcast. Stevie B's Song of the Week. This week we are featuring Infusion from Los Angeles, California. This single features Darian Jones. He was on the show episode 242. And we have a single from their 1994 album, Jesus is Calling. And this single is entitled, No Not One. Enjoy my song of the week. Stevie B's song of the week. No. There's 
Tonight, my special guest is from the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus, Alvin Moore from the North Mississippi area. Alvin Moore, welcome to the blast. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me. How you enjoying the ride tonight? Oh, it's smooth sailing so far. Now, you know we flying 30,000 feet. Well, I'm looking to go 30,000 more. Well, you know we'll pass out of that altitude. <laughs> At least it'll be something good that made us pass out. So, <laughs> all right. Hey, why don't you introduce yourself to our listeners before we start our interview? Okay. Good evening, everybody. To everyone that's out there listening, uh, I'm, uh, as he stated, Alvin Moore, and I'm the director of the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus here in the North Mississippi uh, area. Well, I would say North Mississippi and Memphis area, and I'm just uh, delighted to be a guest on the show tonight. This is my first time, and I'm looking forward to it. And glad you now, guys are joining in with us. Now, is this the first time you've heard this show? No, it's not the first time I've heard it. It's the first time I've been on the show. Okay, okay. Now, I do have a few questions that I want to ask you, and I also have a few singles uh, from your group as well that I want to play as we go through the interview. But let me ask my first question before we play a few of your tracks. Now, why don't you tell us now, 
how did this group get established? Well, um, the year was back in 1995. My minister, Brother Terry Wallace, from the West Oak Grove Church of Christ, uh, there in Hernando, Mississippi, uh, back in 1995, he... Um, somewhat formed the group because the state of Mississippi has uh, every year what we call the um, Mississippi State Lectureship that always takes place on the Easter weekend. And so it, it was normally taking place down in the southern part of Mississippi, and uh, they wanted to bring it here to north Mississippi. So mm-hmm. uh, uh, my minister was asked if he could kind of orchestrate it here in this area and uh, get a singing group, if you will. So he did just that. He got my uh, my aunt, well, actually two of my aunts and another uh, member from our church. They formed this group, and I think that night when they performed, it was around 77 members or something like that. It started mm-hmm. back, in, like I said, in 1995, and my dear aunt slash mother, Effie, who passed away about uh, five months ago, she started out directing the group. Thank yeah. you. She started out uh, actually directing the group. And then I moved uh, in about maybe about five years after that. I uh, started um, attending West Oak Grove, and that's where I've been ever since. And so okay. immediately after I moved in, I say moved in, immediately after I, you know, started going to West Oak Grove and being around the group, I started directing the group, actually, maybe within about two weeks. And so okay. I've been directing uh, North Mississippi ever since, I think it was around – 2021, so it's like 22 years now. So that's oh, wow. pretty much how it started. Birth out of the North, uh, well, the Mississippi State lectureship, and it, it was only only supposed to be for that night, but yeah, that's it was. I, I guess God saw fit to keep mm-hmm. it going. So it, it, it's been in existence now ever since 1995. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with the uh, North Mississippi Acapella Curse, now this this is one of the groups that I use for my old 100s all the time. I love the music coming from you guys. Now, Terry Wallace, that's that singing preacher down there in Mississippi, isn't it? Yes, that's what I'm calling, yeah, the singing preacher. <laughs> yeah, I see a, a lot of his videos, uh, a lot of videos on YouTube. Well, he's singing before he always preaches. He has a powerful voice as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, he does. Now, let me ask you one more question before we play some of your music for those of our listeners who've never heard this group. Now, how many do you have? How many albums does this group have? Well, we've recorded actually uh, a total of five albums. Oh, wow! Now you're going to have to send me a list of those albums and what year they were released, if you can. Okay. I, I can did see not. Re- by the time by the time I send it to you, I'll, I'll know the uh, exact year. Okay. Because I had, had no idea you all had that back. much music. I had no idea you all had that much music. Oh well, yeah, we do, we do, and, and I mean, we have not recorded. It's been a while since we've recorded, but once I uh, started directing the group, I think within that same year we started recording, and it seems oh, wow. like after that time. Every two years or so, we would record. So within like the first 10 to 12 years, we did recording, but we have not done anything since then. Okay. Of course, Well, you all got a lot of music that you can be proud of, that's for sure, because I love this group. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right, let's play some music now from this group so our listeners can hear what we're talking about here from the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus. Now, this single that I want to play, the two tracks I want to play first is Bright Side. This is the title track of the album, Bright Side. Now, uh, Sister Cooper is leading this uh, song, correct? Yes, she is. Yes, Sister Barbara Cooper. Now, her son, her son, her son, Louis Cooper, uh, was on tour with us last year. He was the engineer that was with us during the uh, acapella experience concert tour we had last year. Oh, okay. very talented young man. Very talented. Yeah. yeah. Now he has some music out as well. He has the Zell records. Okay. Okay. Now you heard, did you remember that introduction song that I played when I opened up the show? Yes, I do. I do. I that's Lewis. That. That's Lewis. Oh, Okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, he he came on the show uh, about two years ago. Him and Anissa Cooper came on the show when she released her new album back in 2020, right. I believe it was. 
And after that show, uh, about a, a few weeks later, he hit me up. He said, Stevie B, I got a surprise for you. And he sent me a track. And, and I play this track before I do my funny bones. And that it blew me away. I just loved it when I heard it. So I kept it. <laughs> and I've been using it ever since on this show. He's a very talented brother. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're going to play this single, Bright Side. And we're also, that'll be followed by Lord Bill Mill Cabin. Now, are these original songs? Uh, well, no, well, you know, um, some songs that we think are original until we until we do our homework and find out they're not. I right. think most of the songs that we do in the Church of Christ are not original. I think right. we have a, we, we we tend to take them and kind of do add a little word here or there, make them our own until right. we find out that they're not our own. Uh, now I know Lord Bill you know, Cabin. That's an old 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 song. That's yeah. That's, that's I way love back. that song. I love that song. Exactly. Now bright bright side. I don't know where it originated. I just I just know that. When I started directing uh, North Mississippi, they were singing it. But I'm sure it came from somewhere else, too. Right. Well, I, I love the way you guys did the song, your rendition of Bright Side and Lord Bill Mill Cabin. I played Lord Bill Mill Cabin in my old 100 all the time. As a matter of fact, I played it on last Friday night. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I love that song. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got Alvin Moore on the broadcast tonight from the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus from the North Mississippi area. We have two singles from, they have five albums, ladies and gentlemen. And now, do you know, well, we got uh, Bright Side. You know what year that album was uh, released, Bright Side? Bright Side was, uh, now, the very first one was, was um, Free Spirit, and Bright Side was, was, was within that same year. So that was probably around 2000, I would say, uh, 2002. Something like around, around because it was shortly after I I uh, got there in 2000. So around oh. 2002, 2003, I'm not for sure. But is that well, old? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. I'm, I'm gonna start saying 2002 whenever I talk about it then. I play okay, it all the time. Good. I play this single. Ladies and gentlemen, we got two singles from the North Mississippi Acapella Cross. We got Alvin Moore on the broadcast. Hey, brother, thank you for riding with us on the blast. And stay with us now because I got some more questions for you when we come back on the other side, okay? Will do. Will do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Brightside and Lord Bill Mill Cabin by the North Mississippi Acapella Cross. Enjoy this double play. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Oh, no. 
Gospel Music Blast. Ooh, wee. Hello out there. This is Janice Emerson, Nashville, Tennessee, former directress of Praise Unlimited. If you want to hear the latest and you want to hear the greatest, keep your station locked in to Stevie B. Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Ladies and gentlemen, on the broadcast tonight, my special guest is from the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus Corps Director, Alvin Moore. Thank you, brother, for riding with us on the blast tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Now, on that last song that we heard, Build Me a Cabin, now, was that uh, your minister, Terry Wallace, leading that song right there? Yes, that's, yes, that's Brother Wallace leading that song as well, yeah. Yeah, that's a singing preacher there, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love that brother there. Now, I have one more question that I want to ask you before we play this last single, before we close out this segment. Now, the last single that I want to play is All Night, and this is one of my favorite songs as well. But this is the question that I want to ask you, though. What? Give me your opinion now of what you're hearing here from our acapella artists. What, give us your opinion, good or bad. You mean our acapella artists from now? I mean, that, yes. uh, that's happening nowadays? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, well, um, say if I mean, you had some it, it helpful, what, say if you had some helpful hints, or tips that you want to give them, you know. Well, it it uh, it is what it is. I, I mean, to, to be honest, I mean, 
acapella music is good. It, yes. it's, 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 really, it's really good. But um, I tell people all the time, just make sure you're in sync with the world today, in sync Amen. with what's going on, and, right. and, and, and make sure you're very diverse in your singing. Because you can, I mean, if, if, if you're just singing there at your church, Everybody is used to your singing and your style of singing and all of right. that. But you have to be diverse, especially if you if you're planning on being um, a group chorus or, or or whatever that that's planning to travel and go to other venues. You mm-hmm. have all type people. You have people with all type ears. So you right. have to be well versed in all type of music, meaning all types of style, right. all types of styles. I guess I should say, and uh, I. If I had to give some advice, I would say for the ones who may have never thought of that, please consider, you know, doing that. Because a lot of times, and I've, I've taught North Mississippi so many songs that we've never recorded because it seemed mm. like every time we would have practice on that Friday night, every week we would learn one and maybe two songs. So our repertoire is very large. So, yes, it is. But I always tell them, you know, when we were doing a lot of traveling, there would be some times, I could tell, I don't want to sing this song. I don't want to, why are we singing this? We sing the same songs all the time. But if mm-hmm. you go into a different venue, the people that you sang to two weeks ago didn't hear what we did two weeks prior. Right, so right. it's stuff like that. And you have to know your audience. You have to have right. something for everybody. If you, I'm just going to say, if you're going into a Caucasian, all Caucasian atmosphere, mm-hmm. and you bring your stump, stumping, clapping, and all of that, that maybe that they're not accustomed to, Right. Then you will not gain them, if you will. I, I, right. And always on the flip side of that, always be yourself. But if, if you're diverse, you you're able to tap into a lot of different areas. And I know right. that we're, we're doing this for God, and I and I think God gives us the talent to do mm-hmm. such things, and we should do our best. Now, sometimes right. if you're doing your best, your best is your best. But always, and another right. point I wanted to make is always be willing to listen to someone else. Because I tell people all the time, when they say, do you think so-and-so can sing? Do you think this or this or that? My first reply is always, it depends on who's listening. Right. Because there could be somebody that I think is just tearing up the house. But mm-hmm. you, on the other hand, you may not, it may not be something that, that you care for. So my main thing is just be diverse. Try to be diverse in your singing. And if you need help, reach out for the help to get you where you're trying to go. Don't be Amen. selfish with it. Don't don't be think I got it all and when you really don't have it all. None of us at any point in our life will, will ever have it all. You have to be open and, 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 right. and just just be yourself and just and just enjoy what you're doing. Because I Amen. enjoy the teaching side of it more than the singing side of it. I very Amen. I very seldom say but I just love the teaching side of it. But it's, it's so much out there. We as a cappella, Church of Christ a cappella singers, we miss the mark. We are missing the mark. We're mm-hmm. not willing to get outside the box to see what's going on out. And that's the reason we're not compelling a lot of people through our music. And I think the music is the first thing that will com- that, that will bring a person to Christ or bring a person even to the church building. You got to have something. You gotta have a drawing card. And if Amen. singing is your drawing card, you use your drawing card to bring them there. Then once you get them there, then it's for the teaching and all of that is gonna come in play. So it's but it, it does a lot of other things, but I, I just you know, just kinda those are the first things that just popped in popped in mind. Hey brother, that that was some good advice you just gave. That was some good <laughs> advice. Now now I'm known for this a cappella radio show. But what a lot of people okay. don't know is I did this acapella music to draw people to the Tuesday and Thursday night shows that I put on, which are teaching and preaching shows. Exactly. And so a lot of people, huh? I said, and there's that balance. Right. You got the singing and the teaching and preaching. Because I know I could get them with the music. (laughs) Yeah. I had to get them with the music. Yeah. So later on in the show, I'm going to make an announcement about the Tuesday and Thursday night shows. Right. About the teaching and preaching. 
Man, I'm, I certainly appreciate you riding with us on the blast tonight, man, because I love the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus. Love it. Well, I, we appreciate that, and all those that may be listening, I'm sure they appreciate it as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, when can we expect some new projects from you guys? Well, I don't have I don't have an answer on that because I mean, especially with this COVID thing, people are so people are so separated now. Right. And and let me just tell you this one thing about me: if I'm going to do something, that any group member, or even my church members, even because the main thing to me, North Mississippi, because. 99% of us attend West Oak Grove Church. Mm-hmm. And we have such an impact on the singing. And the singing is not just for us going around to different places and all of that. You mm-hmm. can feel it in our church service on Sunday morning. Amen. Because before COVID, we actually have fourth Wednesday night congregational song practice. Mm-hmm. Because we sing all type of songs. Just about any song that you hear on the radio now, we sing them as congregation congregational songs, but we're just blessed to have, but it's, 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 it's pitiful when you have this group that's bumping in, if you will, but on Sunday morning, most of them are sitting out there, but you don't, you don't get that same feel, if you know what I right. mean. Right. So I right. think a group just impact its congregation as well. Right. So I mean, well, I, I'm, I'm really, it's, 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 it's no, it's, 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 but that's not hard if, if that's what you want to do. You just have to focus right. on doing it because I'm at a point now and as far as us doing new music, I get so much enjoyment just on Sunday morning because we, right. we normally sing on Sunday morning um, before before we go into the um, well, they say before you go into worship service, but I call right. it all worship. You, you get right. my point. Right, we right. normally sing and we're getting ready to get back into that. But as far mm-hmm. as the traveling and all of that, that's really slow because, like I said, you have people that's just spread. And with this COVID thing, a lot of people still use it for an excuse, I think. But right. if that's – it's red, it, it, it's better to err, to err on, the, on the side of safety than right. what have you. But I don't know if it will ever be like it was, mm-hmm. but I know North Mississippi will always be because – and, and I've, I've got to throw this in there, too. And I've always taught, and I, and I tell people all the time, with North Mississippi, it's not the singing. Because we could, we could get together tomorrow and go to New York and sing and do what we did five years ago. It's not mm-hmm. the singing. Because once you've been taught, it's right. easy to do. And right. I'm a, I consider myself as, as a real teacher. They'll tell you, oh, yeah, yeah, he, he really teaches us. But the, the singing is, is, is the easy part. Mm-hmm. But there's so many other other areas when you when you're trying to hold a group together, the faithful mm-hmm. group, the communication, the communication, the communication, the communication, that <laughs> kind of thing. People Amen. wanting to do what they want to do when they want to do it, it's kind of hard. So I, it's my prayer that it's going to all come back together. Mm-hmm. But without the whole gamut of things, it it, it 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 won't go. And we've been doing it long enough now to just. We can just come together and sing, but I, I want more than that. I want the dedication, and I want us to kind of get a feel of what we had before. So, this is well, you, well, you know, with your chorus from the catalog of music that you have already, you don't really exactly. need to record any more music. You, I mean, you all have some outstanding music. I love this chorus. Well, thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just need to know what the albums are. So when I start playing the songs, I know what I'm talking about. That's all. <laughs> I'll get all that information to you. I'll definitely hey, give it to you. Hey, brother, I'm going to play one more single. We're going to close out this segment. Is anybody you want to give a shout out to before we let you go? Well, just for the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus, if you're listen, listening, Brother Matthew Miles, I know he's on here. And just anybody else that, that, that may be listening, thank you for chiming in. And, and to my church, West Oak Grove Church of Christ, and my sister, Julia Dix, from uh, Long Island, New York. I know she's, she's listening. And I think my Aunt Allie, that, uh, the director for the Lampton Street Church of Christ in Mount Bayou, Mississippi, Brother Harvey Jackson, my aunt, she she got all of that started, and and that that's from way back. I think she's on the line tonight as well. But just now, anybody is that, is that, that where the lamp lighters came from? Yes, that's my aunt Allie. Okay, mm-hmm. I had um, I can't, brother King, 
He's with that, the lamp yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was on exactly. the show yeah, that, a couple of weeks, well, a couple of months ago. He was on the show. That's right. That's that. That's the group. Now, now, if you if you see Brother King, let him know Stevie B still waiting on them tracks. <laughs> well, you know Jack King, and I hope he's listening. I hope he's listening. Jack yeah. King is the one you'll probably have to come to Mount Bayou to get it yourself. Yeah, Jack we King. We play like yeah. that all the time, but Jack, you have to you you you're, you're gonna have to stay on Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to stay on him, huh? Okay. Yeah, hey, yeah. brother, I, I'm going to play this single all night, and that's going to close out the segment. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Alvin Moore. He is the core director for the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus. Hey, brother, certainly appreciate that good word uh, tonight as well, and you're coming on the show tonight. Certainly appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we got this single from the North Mississippi Acapella Chorus all night. You're going to love this song. Enjoy this single play. You got Stevie B on the ones and two. Um... Yeah. <laughs> 
This is Jeremy Roberts. This is your girl, Tony Washington, from Journey Acapella. This is Janice Emerson, Nashville, Tennessee. And you're listening to Stevie B. Good day, family. It's your boy, George G, a.k.a. George G International, G-G-I-G to the double E. You're listening to the phenomenal sounds of a cappella gospel music blast where the bass note bumps and the E note jumps and the sopranos and the altos and the tenors make you sway. Oh, yeah, it's a head knocker, baby. And a rock and cheer rocker, a cappella gospel music blast, your host. Stevie B, spinning the voices that soothe the soul, flying at 30,000 feet, not missing a beat, a cappella gospel music blast. your boy Lil Lou from Athens, Alabama at Diesel Records. Giving a shout out to my man Stevie B with the acapella gospel music blast. Every Friday night we get down just like this. Diesel Records, baby. pounds, don't buy him any toys, buy him a work permit. <laughs> I'm serious. I have a nephew that came in at 16 pounds, has never touched baby food in his life. Went from his mother's breast to a porterhouse steak. <laughs> He's two years old. His voice is lower than mine. He walks around the house, Uncle Tony. <laughs> you Uncle Tony. Why don't you drive me to nursing school, man? <laughs> he wears his diapers down here. I buy applause. Anybody got teenagers at home? Yeah. All right. I'll pray for you. <laughs> teenagers are not human. I'm trying to raise my 17-year-old cousin. He's 6'7", and he swears he's God's gift to mankind. He's always lifting weights at night like he's in lockdown. <laughs> always trying to gauge how strong I am. Hey, man, how much can you bench press? I don't know. Well, how many push-ups can you do? I don't know. You want to wrestle? No. <laughs> Why, well, you scared? You scared of these guns? <laughs> if I was scared of you, I'd choke you in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my stepfather told me. I was naive at 17. I was so naive, I picked a fight with my stepfather. And my stepfather's a Vietnam vet. I didn't find that out till after the fight. <laughs> 
He did two tours of NAM. You do one tour because you're serving your country. You do a second tour because you got issues. <laughs> and I'm coming home 2 in the morning. My stepfather's right at the door. Hey, man, what time did I tell you to be in tonight? Man, get off my back. You ain't my real daddy. I ain't got to listen to you. He said, what'd you say? <laughs> it was really a rhetorical question. <laughs> he was just using it to get closer to his victim. <laughs> I said, you ain't my real daddy. I ain't got to listen to you. Next thing I know, my stepfather was back in the <laughs> You want some of me, Charlie? You think you can take me, Charlie? <laughs> and he started doing all these martial art combat moves that you see in movies, and you say to yourself, man, that'll never work in real life. It works. <laughs> he headbutted me, jabbed me in my throat, popped my ears, put dirt all in my mouth. <laughs> to this day, I don't know where the dirt came from. <laughs> we was in the kitchen. Where did the dirt come from? And the only thing I got to say before I passed out was, who's Charlie? <laughs> Stevie B's Funny Bones. <laughs> your captain speaking. I hope you're enjoying the flight tonight on the blast. I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're flying 30,000 feet and I'm dropping bombs everywhere. From San Francisco, California, her single Promise from a 2018 EP, La Chant Acapella. And this song was produced by Carnell Clark from San Bernardino, California. That'll be followed by my man Shano from Hollywood, Florida. He has a new single entitled Your Love. You're going to love this song. This song is number 17 on my top 20 countdown show for the month of February. Enjoy this double play by La Chant and Shano. You got Stevie B on the ones and twos. Oh, you promised me that you would be there for me. You would be there. You told me trials come away. If I would be still and still obey, you'd show me the way. You promised me, yes, you did. That you would be there for me You would be there You told me that you would Be my guide In your will, I will abide You stay by my side You'll never change Lord, Lord, you promised me You'd be the same Yes, you did. 
this is Melissa Lancaster with the singing group Durant. Hey, what up, guys? This is Melody Bailey. This is Monte Cuba. This is Orlando Tisdale, a.k.a. Mookie. This is Bruce. This is Demario. This is Cranston. This is Tori. And this is Jordan. We are Rain. And you're listening to. And you're listening. And you're listening to. And you are listening to. You are listening to Stevie B. Stevie B. Stevie B. And you're listening to Stevie B. Welcome. This is Garrick Edison of the acapella group One Hope in Christ, straight out of Louisville, Kentucky. And you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast radio show. And he's dropping bombs. Oh, boom, boom. Yvonne Gooch, owner of Blazing Crackers, and I am a proud sponsor of Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Blazing Crackers, stay on fire. You need a treat. You're hungry, need some need. So you need a treat. You're hungry, showing up hungry, need some need. Blazing crackers, B L A Z I N crackers, yeah. B L A Z I N crackers, yeah. B L A Z I N crackers, yeah. This is John Pooh Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Hey. Oh, yeah. Is your congregation in need of lending for a building or expansion project? As your partner and advocate, Diversified Financial Network will take the time to understand your unique situation and develop a financing solution that meets your specific needs. It's an exciting time for your congregation, and what you need is a company with expertise in church financing early in the process. Call us today at 1-866-513-6665 or visit us at www.diversifiedfinancegroup.com. This is a program reminder. Stevie B's Media Production presents. We're airing live shows here on Blog Talk Radio. The telephone number to the live show is 713-955-0508. Or you can go to the website, www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash gospel light radio show. On Tuesday evening, I'm hosting a live show, What a Word from the Lord Radio Show. And this show will air every third, every second third and fourth Tuesday of the month. On the second Tuesday of the month, this show will air from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we have a guest speaker from the Brotherhood of the Churches of Christ who will be presenting lessons from the Word of God. We also have a community corner segment that's designed for small business owners and entrepreneurs who have products and services for our community. I also have two co-hosts on that show, Lou Gilbert, he's the evangelist for the Oakbrook Park Church of Christ in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Isa Collins, he served with the Church of Christ in Cary, North Carolina. And then on the third Tuesday of the month, this show will air from 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 6 and 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And my co-host is Dr. Antherica Lane. She's a board-certified obstetricianist and gynecologist. She served with the Great Road Church of Christ in Cincinnati, Ohio, and she'll be hosting her show, Conversations with Dr. Lane. And then on the fourth Tuesday of the month at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, my co-host, Kelly Fletcher, she serves with the Livingstone Church of Christ in Indianapolis, Indiana, and she'll be hosting the Kelly Fletcher Show. 
And then on Thursday evening, each week from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 to 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'll be hosting a live show, the Gospel Light Radio Show, and I have seven co-hosts on that show, Clay Phillips from Thomasville, Georgia, Dr. Frank Washington from Plantation, Florida, Steve Cordo from Danville, Illinois, Robert Lee Johnson from Lake City, Florida, Glenn McMillian from Richardson, Texas, Courtney Carruthers from Chicago, Illinois, and Brian Christian Coleman from Newark, New Jersey. On this show, my co-host will be presenting lessons from the Word of God, and each week I have two co-hosts on the air with me. I'm also taking a question from my social media platform on Facebook called Shout It Out, so I'll be posing to one of my co-hosts on that live show. Then on Friday night, I'll be hosting a live show, Stevie B. Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This show is the 2022 recipient for the Camera National Academy of Christian Acapella Music Artists Award for Outstanding Achievement in Record or Radio. And this show will air from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. On this radio broadcast, I'm playing some of the world's greatest acapella gospel music artists, the sweet sounds of voices. We're also interviewing artists, producers, comedians, etc. Also, we're debuting new music on the broadcast and featuring old music on the show as well. Every third Friday of the month, I have my top 20 countdown show, and we also have on-demand episodes. There are just a variety of musical platforms that you can listen to these various shows on, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, uh, Apple iTunes, YouTube, just to name a few. Also, have recorded version of shows. These shows uh, were album debuts mostly, so same playlist that was used on the live show on Blog Talk Radio is the play- same playlist that is used on those recorded version shows. And these shows can only be heard on iHeartRadio, Deezer, and also on Amazon Music. Just search for Stevie B recorded version shows. I want to thank all of our sponsors who are sponsoring these radio shows. If you want to become a sponsor, just contact my sponsorship manager, Michelle Marco from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Their telephone number is 954-687- 4705. The three E's of Stevie B Media Production. It is the objective of this broadcast. We want to educate, we want to edify, we want to encourage you in the study of God's Word. And that will conclude our program announcements. You're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. Peace and love, everyone. This is your girl, Genesis Archer from Jacksonville, Florida, and you're listening in to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. This is Troy Marable of Made New Acapella in Louisville, Kentucky, and you're listening to Stevie B's Acapella Gospel Music Blast. It's been a long time. Hey, this is John Poo Malone, and you're listening to the Acapella Gospel Music Blast with Stevie B. Stevie B's monthly trip, trip, triple spin, spin, spin. For the month of March, we'll be featuring Exodus 2.0 from Los Angeles, California. We did an exclusive interview with one of the vocalists from this group, Callie JT, John Emerson, on episode 269. Actually, John's uh, been on the show a couple of times. He's been debuting new singles. Uh, this group, Exodus 2.0, is putting out some great music, and they'll be debuting their new album, the 2023 album, The Lord is in This Place, on this broadcast on next Friday night, Lord willing. And the three singles that we have for the month of March is Suffer My Loss. This is a new single just released. You're going to love this song. And that'll be followed by I Think I'm Alone from the 1994 album Exodus the Cross. And that'll be followed by this another new single that they just debuted, uh, Think of Nothing, featuring Malcolm Hines from Houston, Texas. Enjoy my monthly triple spin for the month of March. Stevie B's, Stevie B's monthly trip, trip, triple spin, spin, spin. Boom, 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 boom. 
Jesus, how I want to. 